Hey guys, this is Andrew here with 8020 and today we are gonna be shaping up a beard and shortening it up. This is a client that came in two days ago. We did a head shave for him and we just kind of cleaned up the beard a little bit, but he came back saying he actually wants to go a little bit shorter. And so this is what we're gonna be doing. And this is how you take a beard that's looking like this and you shorten it up while keeping and maintaining the shape. First thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be blow drying the beard like we've mentioned in our previous video to make sure that we have the full length of the beard and we know exactly what we are working with and that way the client knows exactly how long his beard is and then we're going to ask the client okay how short do you want to go and what's the shape you want to you want to go with and then we're going to start cutting and i'm going to show you how we're going to be doing that so yeah let's blow dry it and then we'll discuss the length okay sounds good So now that we have blow dried the beard and we're combing it through, now the client has a chance to see how long his beard is. A couple of things I like to start with is what is the shape that the client wants? Because that determines on where I start cutting and how I guide the client to know exactly how short he wants to be. So what's the shape that you want to go for? You want to go for more of a pointy shape or more of a round shape or a square shape? I kind of like the shape that it is right now. So I want to kind of maintain the shape that I have now. A little bit more round then. Okay, sounds good. How short do you want it to be from your chin point down? So I'm gonna walk the comb down and you're gonna tell me to stop to tell me how short you okay. want it to be, okay? Here? Yep. Perfect. So when we are doing this technique, we know that the longest point on this beard is gonna be here. And then everything else from here on in is just gonna get a little bit shorter, a little bit rounder. But because we want it to be round, we're gonna try our best to maintain that length all the way through without going super short on the sides. If you do that, you're gonna end up with more of a pointy beard. So this is how we do the rounded look based on what the client has asked for. So first thing first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the center. I'm gonna put in where I want it to be and then I'm gonna slowly work my way around uh, the edges. So once I've set that in, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually come down on the beard this way, just to cut away all the flyaways, and then I'm gonna round it up. When I'm rounding up the beard, I'm not gonna go at such an aggressive angle. It's gonna be more like, kind of like a straight line, just to cut off here and round it up at the end, so. One thing I always like to do is always look in the mirror to make sure that we have symmetry in the beard. If one side is lopsided, you may not be able to really tell if you're looking at it sideways or even sometimes up front. It's always better to use the mirror. So when we look in the mirror, we can tell that it's a little bit heavier on this side. So we're gonna have to take a little bit more from here and then clean up all the flyaways on this side. Um, and then that should give us the shape that we're looking for. But always use the mirror because the mirror will give you depth of view and tell you exactly where you need to cut. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So now once that we've reached 
kind of the shape that we want. We're gonna go ahead and do the detail work, which is lining him up from the top here uh, with a straight razor. And we're gonna be doing the line up in the back. And then we're gonna also clean up his neck a little bit. Once we shortened up the beard to about this length, we can clean up slightly under the beard. Typically we recommend that clients leave everything from the neck up to support the beard, especially if they're growing a longer beard. But uh, since we went a little bit shorter today, anything that's gonna be showing past the line where we've made, we're gonna be cutting. When we are cleaning up the neck, I don't want to push this too far out. So we're going to have a nice line come right across here. And typically I'll grab my clipper and I'll just go up and I'll stop. So that way I'm not cutting too much off. This is the kind of curve that we are looking for, just nice and rounded. If you wanted to know exactly how we do this part, uh, you can go back to one of our previous videos showing the step-by-step uh, -step cleanup tutorial on, on a beard that we have posted. And finally, I'm gonna be using the Educated Beards product. Uh, we're gonna be using a little bit of the peppermint cedarwood beard balm to give it some shape and to rehydrate it from after blow drying it. It's okay if there are some hairs from under the beard that are a little mm -hmm. bit longer. This is what supports the beard. I don't want to keep cutting everything much shorter. Okay. We keep a nice heavy base on the bottom so it supports the shape. So just do, okay. do like what I do, just brush it up like this and then bring it all down. And bring it down? Yeah, okay. just to give it support. Bring it up and then... And then Bring it down first if you want all of it with a comb yeah. and then brush it all out like this. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then shape it with your hand, kind of like how I'm okay. doing right now. You see how it gives it that yep. shape? What do you think? I like it. I like yeah. it a lot. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. So this is it. This is how we shape a beard. The round shape for our client here. He likes it. And it's all lined up and cleaned up. Uh, follow us for more.